<clears throat> yeah, I think I think that's a really good point. I mean, the fact that the matter is, you know, someone like Tavernier is, for instance, is quite unique as a fullback. Like, I think if you're looking for to sign another fullback in a similar mould, you're going to like have a lot of trouble because you know he is fast. He's also got that excellent crossing ability, and you know, and he is good, very good going forward. And the same can be said of Barisic as well on the other flank. I mean, like they, they uh, both Tavernier and Barisic got six assists in the league last season, which is the joint most of any Rangers player. Uh, only, I think Joe Rebo also got six, but no one got more than that. It really shows that a lot of the creativity from that side was coming from either flank. Now, I think that's because of the sort of the two number tens that Gerard likes to play just behind a striker. It does free up that space in the flanks and gives them licence to go forward. Uh, but as you say, uh, yeah, the guys they had to step in, they just can't do that job. Now, next season, that might not be the case because they've just signed uh, Kel- Kelvin Bassey from Leicester. I'm not going to lie, I don't profess to know anything about the guy. Um, apparently, he's you know quite big, quite athletic. That's about the extent of it. Presumably, he's been brought in to serve as understudy to Barisic uh, with both Flanagan and Halliday leaving the club. On the other side... It's, I think you're probably quite likely to maybe see Nathan Patterson get a, a couple more appearances this season. I think he only played once or twice in the Cups. But I think that from what I've seen of him, he is most, more similar to a Tavenier than, say, a poster, where, OK, he is obviously an actual defender, but he's, you know, he's quite pacey, he's relatively technical, and I think he is a bit more attacking-minded. So I think we'll maybe see some more of him this coming season and I think he maybe provides Gerard with a better option but it's still not ideal and as I wrote in one of the blog posts I wrote the other day it's a lot of expectation to put on a very young player to put them parachute them into a team where you absolutely must win and every mistake is going to be a disaster it's a lot of pressure it's a big ask but I do think that given what Rangers have at the moment I think that we can expect him to get maybe get a bit more minutes, and I think he might end up actually providing a better backup to Tavenier than someone like Bolster, for instance.